how a woman should be strong, how a woman can be a sucker to the suffering people. So like this, so many things we can understand from the mother's life. It's an example. This is the last word in the womanhood. That's what Swami Vivekananda says. So that type of highly endowed with such powers and such examples for our own life, Mother Sarada has done. We will speak about that later, but today I am very happy to be giving this inaugural address to all of you, welcoming every one of you for this wonderful assembly. Here we have got nice speeches to be given by the Swamis as well as by the Raviyev Matajis who have come here all the way from Guntu to address you. We will learn a lot of things today. I appeal to the students, if you have at least a small book or if you have, I think everyone must be having a cell phone. So in cell phone you have got notes. Take that application and jot down in the notes if you don't have a notebook with you. Jot down the points that strike you and that will be a great help to you later in the future. So with these uh, welcoming words, I take leave of you. I will meet you after some time. Thank you. Jai Sri धन्यवाद स्वामीजी नमस्कार भारतीय संस्कृति का स्त्रीमूर्ति पात्र यंत्र कोपदो अध्यक्ष का वर्णन चल प्रपंच लो यक्षरा लेने के बाद जगत गुरु ल अवतार पुरुष लो आचार्य पुरुष लो सिद्ध पुरुष लो महानी लंदरो जन्मी चढ़ाने के कारणम भारत मंडला कारण या प्रमेयन चरा चरण तत्पदम दर्शितम तस्मै सिंधुरवे नमः परिहूर ओम नमो भगवते रामकृष्णाय ओम नमो भगवते पद्मावति समेत श्री वेंकटरमण स्वामी ने नमः डियर मोनास्टिक ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स एंड आल्सो माय डियर चिल्ड्रन आई कॉल यू चिल्ड्रन बिकॉज़ दो यू आर नॉट by age children, considering my age of 73, you are all children too. So today, because of the paucity of time, I will briefly speak about a topic given to me. It is women are not weak. I just heard a speech of respected Bhavani Prana Mataji, how wonderfully she put before us Swamiji's contribution for getting our independence. Many times we forget this. So this aspect needs to be spoken again and again to Indian people to understand Swamiji's contribution for our country. I am happy that she spoke today on that. And the second Mataji, Yaganishta Prana Mataji, I feel that she should have been given one hour to speak on the topic that was given to her. She spoke very well on, though within the small time that was allotted to her, she has brought out very beautifully the great strength of Sister Vedika. That one incident of Lord Curzon coming to the Calcutta University and speaking live and Nivedita could find it out, go into the library and strip the book and found out. Then she published in the statesman newspaper. It is something unimaginable. We Indians, we Indian students were sitting there. We never opposed anything, never talked anything. As she said, Nivedita taught the desh of prema, that is, the love of the country to us. She is a foreign lady. From London she came. Originally, she was born and brought up in Ireland. I was there in Ireland for the last three years. So, I went to her place where she was born, etc., etc. But then, this, this determination of Nivedita only says to us what women are not weak. Is it not? If she was weak, 
she would not have done this great revolution. After Swami is leaving this world, she went all alone. As he said to the north, to the south, to the east and west, she went on telling people, get up, arise, away, and stop not till the goal is reached, was Swamiji's mantra. And she spread that among the Indians. And was she weak? No. If you think that we are all always told weak, 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 why women are considered weak? Generally, everywhere, even from childhood onwards in our families, we are told, I have seen my parents telling my sisters, telling you are weak, sit down, don't go there, like that they say. Why? Now only understand how wrong tradition has come into our society. By telling a girl weak, she becomes weak. If you tell that you are strong, then you become strong. So Swamiji says that you must be strong. How do you become strong or who are strong? Do we have anybody in our history or in our Puranas that strong women? There are very many strong women. For instance, take the story of Sita. Sita is said to be just a follower of Sri Ram. Wherever Ram goes, she is also following him. Like that they depict, even in the epics that, that are being filmed nowadays, they show Sita as a simple woman just following Sri Ram. It was not so. Sita was a great, steady and determined woman, very strong woman, not a weak woman. She was not weak. How do you say, Swamiji, you can ask me? I tell you two incidents from Kamba Ramayana, which is my mother tongue. I read it. The Ramayana, first Ramayana I read was in Tamil. So the Kamba Ramayana, two incidents come. One incident is that Sri Ram comes and tells Sita, Look, my dear, I am to keep up my father's word. I have to go to forest. And I am not going to take you to a forest. Then she asked, why? Because forest is full of thorns and your soft legs cannot stand them. You will be hurt. You will be injured. So you stay here. He's advising her. But Sita says, is it so? Okay. Then she says, what happened to your mother? Your mother is not visible here because she has gone to Dasharatha's place. He says, my father is now sick, so my mother has to be with him. Then Sita asks a question to Sita. Is it necessary for your mother to be at the bedside of your, of your father? And Ram said, what surprising question you are asking. It is to be, when my father is sick, my mother must be at his bedside. Then she says, if that is so, if my husband goes to forest, should I not go to forest? So, you see the strength of her character. She is asking this question to Sri Ram. Sri Ram has got no answer. She says, okay, come with me. And then comes Vasishtha Muni, who is the guru of the is Rabukula. He also tells Sita, don't go to forest. But she refuses. No, I must go. And you see her strength of mind. When Hanumanji comes at Lanka and he is introduced, then she is convinced of Hanuman's genuineness. Then Hanuman says to Sita, says, Hanuman says to Sita Maya that I will carry you on my shoulders. Come and sit here. I can just jump and then fly and then take you to sit down. Sita says, No, no, my son. She called him beta. You know, no, my son, no. I shall not go like that. Let my husband come here, fight with Ravana and take me back. Then only his prestige will be there. How wonderful determination you see. She refuses to go with Hanuman. Such wonderful examples are there. Have you not seen Draupadi Mahabharata? How determined she was? And when the last day of battle was there, then Bhima was little vacillating. Should I go and fight with Duryodhana? That was the question. Krishna says, yes, you must go and fight. This is the last chance. If Duryodhana is defeated or killed, the war is end. So go. At that time, Bhima was still wondering, because Duryodhana is his elder brother. Should we go and kill him? He is thinking. 
At that time, Draupadi comes. Draupadi comes with her uh, hair put down and she says, Hey Bhima, 14 years I had kept my hair down. I have not bundled my hair. I have not decorated my hair. And Draupadi had full hair. Up to her knees, the hair will come. And that hair, I have not tied once in these 14 years. And you have not kept one flower on my head in these 14 years. All this Tyaga I was doing only for today's occasion. Today you should go and break his ties where he told me to come and sit. And then only it will be, I will be satisfied. Then only inspired by Draupadi, Duryod, uh, Bhima goes there and fights and he wins. The story goes like that. So see the determination and strength of a woman. Carl Jung is a famous psychologist. He says, every man and every woman has got a portion of the opposite qualities, opposite traits. So he calls it animus and anima. Anima is the feminine qualities, animus is the masculine qualities. If a man is there, he has got some feminine qualities also. If a woman is there, she has got some masculine qualities also. So these two, should be in relationship, he says, must be properly used to understand your own inner strength. If you do not understand your own properties, how are you going to face the challenges of the world? So it is necessary. Coming to the recent advent of Holy Mother Sri Sarada Devi, how she was so strong, you can see. She is, she is absolutely faithful to Sri Ramakrishna. And she was serving him with her full mind. 100% she has put to serve Sri Ramakrishna when she came to Dakshin as well. And it was going on. Service was going on. And one day, one lady comes and tells Holy Mother, Ma, please give me the chance to take the food plate to Sri Ramakrishna's room. Immediately she handed over the plate to her. And that lady went and kept it before Sri Ramakrishna. Sri Ramakrishna, suddenly he was in a different mood, you know. He didn't properly see. Only when the lady was going back, he saw that who brought the food plate to him. Then after some time, Holy Mother comes to take the plate away. By that time, she thought he would have eaten, but he has not touched the plate at all. And he's sitting there. So Holy Mother told him, Master, why do you not have eaten? You should have eaten this food. It is becoming cold. Then he said, don't you know, I can't eat if any person of doubtful character touches the plate, I can't eat. You should have brought the food to me. Meaning that Holy Mother is 100% purity personified. Pavitrata Swarup in me. That is what Abhidhananda says. So, you should have brought this food to me. Then Holy Mother says, what wrong is that lady brought? I have only sent her. You should have eaten that. said, no, don't send like that. See, Ramakrishna is ordering now, Holy Mother, don't send like this in future. If you bring, I will eat. At that time, Holy Mother says, so obedient Holy Mother, that obedient Holy Mother says, no, I cannot do this. If anybody comes and tells me, Ma, and asks it, I shall send it to you. And Sri Ramakrishna was stunned. What a reply it was. What a determined reply is he. Sri Ramakrishna wanted to test Holy Mother. Has her motherhood blossomed into that level? That is what he wanted to test. And she passed that test. So the strength of women does not, may not lie in the physical. Physically, a woman, a girl is much, much weaker than a boy of the same age. But then you see the strength of mind. I have seen, in my own house I have seen, how my mother and sisters used to fast. One day you fast for Ekadashi, then we boys, you know, used to get upset. Hey, what is this? So at least night you should feed us, please to us. But I have seen my sisters fasting for not one day. In Navaratri time, nine days fasting has been done. What a wonderful thing. Can you, can men do that? No. I have seen in, in Durban, South Africa, our devotees, and during Navaratri time, 
during Ram Navami time, during Krishna Janmashtami time. That is Navaratri nine nights, Ram Navami nine nights, nine days, and Krishna Ashtami eight nights. Absolute fasting. Not even a drop of water they will take. And who does? Only women. Men cannot do fasting. They can do fasting, but then they don't have the strength of mind. If you want to see the strength of mind, you must see a woman. That's what Anderson said. If you want to see the strength of mind, strength of mind is so much with a woman that you cannot expect how, how far she can go. I'm not talking about the physical strength of even giving delivery of a child and then undergoing the troubles of the family. So much is there for a woman. But then she is mentally very strong. She only gives solace to a man when he loses the mental strength. Such is our tradition. Such is even today we are practicing. See the Nivedita story that Mataji told you. How wonderful. Please go and read. As she, twice she told you to go and read about Nivedita. You understand what type of strength she has. She even told the boys in Nagpur when she went there, she met some boys, for school college boys. They came and they said, we are playing this and that like that she was telling. They were telling to her. She asked what type of games you play. Then no British games like cricket, etc. they play. She said, what? You are just copying the Britishers? Can't you play your own Indian games? Do you know that there are, we have our own traditional games? Those games, why don't you play? And she made them play the Indian games next time. So you can see the strength of mind that can inculcate in everyone. That's why we should read Nivedita. Of course, my time is up now. I got a lot of things to say to you. When I was in Yeragiri, I was planning, oh, what a beautiful topic is given. Women are not weak. So I will tell about one hour. But no, the time is up, no? We are, we are all now waiting for fulfill, fulfilling our uh, desire of food. Now the prasad is going to be served, so we have to be very short. But then, I tell you, please remember that you are not weak. You are strength. You are strong. This you remember that. Then you can do anything. I saw a small WhatsApp message. They are traveling in a bus, a mother and a daughter. One fellow, you know, bad fellow, standing there in this bus, he touched the daughter. The daughter is telling his, her mother, 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 this man is touching me. And immediately, the mother comes up. And so many men were there in the bus. Nobody took any action, nobody said anything. This lady went and gave us such a, uh, such a, what do you call it? Yes, thappar. In Hindi we say thappar. She gave a thappar to that man and said, how dare you touch my daughter? This strength, the strength of determination that I shall not see anything that is immoral. That is, I shall not see anything, I shall not accept anything that goes unethical. This is the strength of mind. I have seen one devotee came to me and he said, I, after taking initiation, my mind is slowly changing to spiritual life. I said, very good, that is very expected. If you take Diksha from Ramakrishna mission, your mind will definitely change. I told him. Then he says, one day in my office, some type of something was going on. So one customer came and he gave me a packet of rupees, which is a bribe for me. I did not know after taking initiation, I should not take that. But then my inside mind says, I am having so many demands in the family. Let me take this money so that I can fulfill my wife's desires. But then when he came to house, suddenly the lady asked, did you take anything bad? Did you do anything bad today? Then he was trying to, you know, not disclose to her. But then she found out. She said, did you take bribe today? Yes. How do you know? Your face tells everything. In Tamil, there is a beautiful proverb, you know, Agatin Adagam Mugatin Tariyum. What is inside the beauty is visible in your face. She said, from the face I could know. You have done a wrong thing today. Go and give back that money. Never bring it again. He says, Swamiji, my wife saved me 
from a great, great problem on that problem. This, this is the strength of a woman. If you are strong, you can make your husband strong. You can make your brother strong. You can make your family strong. Next, when you get children, the children also will be strong. That is the reason. So women are never weak. That was my uh, topic given to me. Thank you very much.